all of our want and wills to win. You know, that's as a hockey player, you want to be successful, and um, no one's going to remember an unsuccessful season. So, uh, our, all of our want and wills to win is really what I think bonds us. Playing for you know one of the best coaches uh, in college hockey. I mean, the culture that brings us together. You know, I mean, th this is every every day you uh, you know put your uh, jersey on. You have to represent not only your team but the whole state of Maine because everyone is cheering for you and you don't want to disappoint anyone. That's why you gotta go out and you know leave all your 110 percent out there. I mean, there's a rich history of hockey here, and a lot of good players have come through. So um, I think every player that puts on a main uniform is, it has to hold themselves to a certain standard, right? Because it's it's a very historic program, and, and I know I'm trying every day to, to hold myself to that standard. And every time I put that jersey on, I'm uh, I'm doing the best I can. We, we have a lot of talent on our team, and, um, and and I believe in all of our guys. You know, we, I mean, maybe some some games have slipped away from us, but that's not indicative of how our team is. Uh, as a, on a skill level basis. So, um, you know, I think that our expectations are high for ourselves. We hold, hold ourselves to high standards, but uh, I mean, it's gonna be a good stretch run for us right here. We had, we have really good uh, freshmen who came in and uh, obviously uh, we, we didn't lose much offensive power uh, and defensive power. So, I mean, expectations were definitely high and uh, I mean, they are still pretty high, uh, I think. The team is still trying to find ways uh, to, you know, be better, and I think the ne next part of the season will be really good. So. Stay with the process. In this room yesterday, board on the floor, talked about the golfer, talked about how we stick with what works for us. When you stick with our game plan, our identity, that's how we play great hockey. Stick with our process. Talked about the surgeons and how they prepare mentally and physically and how it starts funneling in and where we are right now with that funnel Come game time, we're fine-tuned, we're dialed in, we're prepared, and we execute. And then the last part, I know that we've been talking all year about being great teammates. So if we stick with our process, and we're here and now, and we're focused on what we can control, and we're action-focused, and we get big because we're prepared and we're ready. The next thing is, be a great teammate. Give energy. And you give energy not just by what you say, but by what you do and how you carry your body and how you are on the ice and how you are on the bench and how you are in the locker room. It's right there. Well done is better than well said. Stick with the process, guys. I think that was a statement win for us. Um, 
it's about time that, <laughs> that we got a win like that. But uh, for us, I mean, to, to show everyone that, that we can play with any team in hockey, you know, Boston College is a good team. They, they got a lot of skilled players, but, um, you know, so do we. And, and I think that game was kind of the, the first step in the right direction for us in the, in the new year. I think the biggest thing for us was just a mindset, you know, mindset that we're not going to take no for an answer. And um, it really showed and it was one of those games where uh, everything was going in for you. You know, sometimes that happens and other nights it doesn't, but that was a night where um, we played well and we played to our identity and then things were working out for us. I, I think the most important part was we were having fun, uh, you know, after the uh, devastating, you know, sweep at home against Northeastern, uh, we were kind of you know, struggling to find maybe connection between each other. Uh, we went to play basketball. We, we kind of started to connect again together. And, uh, you know, we, we told each other that, hey, let's have fun in practice as opposed to like work hard, but work hard and have fun at the same time. And that's what we did in Boston. Uh, we worked for each other, first of all. Uh, we blocked shots. Uh, we did everything, you know, we, we played 100% uh, out and, uh, I mean, that, that's that's how the score came, and I mean, obviously that was a huge win for us. It was just a big team effort. We had lots of stars tonight. They all were stars tonight. They all represented the University of Maine and the proud traditions of our program in exactly the right way. And you also carried yourself with class and humility after you bumped them up pretty good. Well, let me tell you something, boys. Class is everything. It's everything. Win or lose, you do things the right way. We played the right way tonight. We, we won the right way. We acted the right way. It was terrific. So, because everybody was a star tonight, Maine Black Bears, what do we do when we win? I can't really describe it like you walk out for, for warm-ups onto the ice and then the student section is just absolutely packed and you know I I still get chills when I when I go out there you know I skate out and I look at I'm like getting chills skating around doing shooting pucks and stuff but it's just I mean uh, our fans are so good to us especially the students you know they, they come and support us regardless of how our team's doing and sort of the, the fans that uh, purchase tickets you know um, to have that atmosphere here is, is a big reason I came here but I, I know it helps our team give us a little extra push, you know, maybe in the third period when guys are, are, are tired, you know, it helps us, you know, we want to play for them and do well for them. Six years ago when I first came to the States, I played in this uh, small town, Bridgewater, uh, in uh, Massachusetts. And uh, for some reason we have this uh, showcase, like a tournament kind of thing, uh, with the Triple A team. And it was actually at Maine. And we went there and uh, we went to University of Maine game. And then it was my first ever college hockey game, and it was against UNH too, so it was huge. And uh, it kind of, <laughs> kind of sold me out there, and uh, you know, I'm glad to be here. You are always waiting for those games. UNH is the biggest game, not the biggest game, but I would say the maybe not. I wouldn't say necessarily the biggest, but the, the most fun game to be at because all the student, all the history we have uh, for against UNH. I mean, you know, I was waiting for this game for a long time and uh, I was glad students were back after break and, 
and it was just electric. I mean, you come out, uh, there's so many, you know, students cheering for you. Your your heart is real, literally popping out of your chest. And it's, I mean, it's obviously a special feeling. And, uh, you know, I wish we had more of those games and we, we still have a really good crowd. But this UNH weekend is, there's just something special. And I mean, it was, it was a great weekend. Uh, we, we did really good in the first period. I mean, uh, we pushed hard. Uh, students were, you know, rowdy. Uh, that actually helped us, uh, the electric, everything. And after after first period, we kind of stopped. I'm not sure why. And they, they got some goals back, back on us. And I mean, we were in the game the whole time. And we were confident we were going to win this game. And uh, we had some bad, bad bounces, bad goals uh, late in the third. Uh, they came back. They actually got it up one a goal and uh, but at that time we still didn't lose our confidence and our belief and uh, we came back within two minutes uh, scored the fourth dying goal and uh, it was huge too so uh, I mean obviously we wanted to win but uh, we can't forget that we came back and battled back so yeah I mean it was a back and forth game uh, we we scored, they scored, and then they, they took the lead late in the third, but we battled back. You know, there's a lot of positives that we could take out of that game. Um, they have a good, skilled, small, quick team, and, and they capitalize on their chances, but I mean, we, we fought back and clawed back, and Cyril to score the big goal late for us in the third there. So, um, I, I mean, like I said, there's positives. Like, that was positive for us, and um, but I mean, also at the same time, there's things that we can improve on, and that's, you know, little lapses in our defensive zone and not marking guys. Um, when we should be, so um, all these things to work on.